Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Metroid Prime Blind, and in this episode, well, when I, where I ended it off, like, with the other one, we're gonna be going through here, see what there is. There's not really much other mystery than that, is there? Anyway, let's just go through without being electrified, and maybe destroy this before it gets me, even though that failed miserably. But you know what, never mind. I get the feeling that we're gonna fight a boss. I mean, the way the layout of the area looked when it showed me, and that kinda looks familiar to a boss. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to wait for you to drop all the electronics, and then for me to go through. There we go, that was nicely done. And the music has changed yet again, has it? Also, how do I lock on? How do I lock on? It's Zed. <laughs> for some reason I forgot how to lock on then, that was kind of strange and a bit embarrassing. Also, what? Are you actually damaging? I was going to say, I was like, surely I'm shooting you on the back, because you're supposed to damage. Like this, there we go. Maybe one more? There we go, that was safely done, wasn't it? And I think it also gave me a missile as well. I don't know, man. Also, what the hell are these? Let me have a scan, lady. Scan, see what they are. Scan, lady. Scan, what the hell? Okay, Ice Parasitic Scavenger with a crystalline outer shell. Uh, parasites are hard, hardy creatures able to adapt to any environment within three generations. The Ice Parasite is a prime example. Oh, I get it. A prime example. Having adjusted to a frigid climate, this vermin now thrives in it. Omnivorous. It can exist in areas hostile to most life forms. Well, that's cool. Let me just kill it anyway. <laughs> that's all I have to say to it, really. <laughs> that's the thing. She so scans it, looks it, becomes interested, and then just annihilates the poor damn thing. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, is that like a, a secret sort of. Are there any energy tanks in this area that I'm missing? I don't know. Actually, that reminds me. Guys, um, if you could let me know down in the comments below how many missile tanks and energy tanks there are, like, in this game. Like, don't tell me any of the areas. Don't tell me where they are. Don't give me any hints or anything. Just let me know how many. Alright? Well, I get the feeling it's probably, my estimation is, like, 10. 10 energy tanks? Because how, how is 20 supposed to fit up there where it says energy? Unless maybe it moves to another location. But I don't know, just, like... If you could kindly let me know on that, just so that I'm aware of how much I need to get, and then I can just find them all myself, you know? Or it might even just become obvious to me later. Maybe there's like a hundred missiles in total. Maybe even two hundred. I don't even know, but I'm curious to see- Oh my god! What the hell was that? It was you! It was you, and it was you! Well, that was rather rude of you. Okay, I'm gonna stand in between you two then. And then try to shoot you. Uh, if you're going to come up at all. Are you- Yep, there's one. Oh, come on! Really? Fine, well at least they got that guy there by complete freaking accident. Oh, and him too. I guess the radiation of the explosion just de decided to destroy them both. Oh, this isn't even a thing, okay. A statue depicting a Chozo balancing the plane of existence on his hands. I see, how interesting, okay. How far is this tower? Oh, it's actually not that high at all. Blimey. <laughs> I thought honestly I'd be climbing up it quite a bunch of times, but I guess not. And just to be on the safe side, I want to destroy this. This honestly reminds me a lot of that ice place that you get to. Damn it, I forgot what the sector name was, but if you played Metroid Fusion, you know the snowy area where you have to go up like these platforms and stuff and then shoot like the enemies that go around them and things? It reminds me a lot of that, but, like a 3D perspective. Ah, damn it, I, I forgot what it was. I, I remember some sector names because they're abbreviations to things like Trovi and Tropical and oh my god, I fell down. Okay, now I'm back up and stuff, but yeah, I remember there being Sector Tro, um, as well as Knock for Nocturne. So, you know, I am sort of somewhat familiar with it and things, but just all the other sectors I can never remember. Also, this looks like a thing I'm going to have to scan. Yep, I thought so. Is this a boss by any chance? The statue's hands seem to be frozen in place. Does it? So what, does this mean like I can shoot it or something? Or it might just be a hint, maybe. Maybe that will turn into the boss? I don't even know, but my sensitivity just went off then, which is a real shame, because it hasn't done that in quite a while. It's becoming like a common thing, like, during this LP and that. Just my sensitivity is the one that ruins it. Also... How do I get through here exactly? Well, I can scan it and have a look, just to be sure. Okay, oh, yes I can, actually. Okay, right, a statue to bit in the bust of a Chozo shame in the doors. Um, this door, a symbol is carved into its forehead. The translation reads, To pass my gaze, seek my twin with this room. Your twin. Hmm, okay, this is a little puzzle then, is it? Wasn't that the one that I just saw earlier? Is that right? But I, I swear, like, I scanned him before, didn't I? Uh, it appears to be frozen in place. Okay, but that was his hands. Can I scan the face? Nope. I can't do anything about that. Okay, right. So then. Let me just have a little... Oh, is that him? Is that him right there? 
This is actually been done in the bust of the Chosen Warrior. The statue is flawless. Okay, right, so I just need to do a little bit of scanning around the area then. Oh, hello, sorry. Uh, the statue depicting the bust of a sh Chosen Shaman. Several stress fractures can be seen running along the surface of this brimstone object. Really? That's interesting. Oh, and there's another one over here. Okay, cool. Let me just scan each one then. This is a statue de um, depicting the bust of Chozo Arti Architect. Sorry, I thought it said Artifact. Statue is flawless. Okay. Is there another one? Yes, there is. There's another one over here. This statue depicting the bust of Chozo Philosopher. Like the Philosopher's Stone from Harry Potter. This statue is flawless. Okay, right. Um, well then. I, I need to scan one of his buddies, do I? <laughs> At least that's the clue he gave me anyway. It told me about the tower though. Let me just look at my uh, logbook though for a second just to be sure. Okay, so um, it still tells me like a tower, like it sits atop it and stuff. Wasn't that the thing that I just literally scaled atop? But then again, I'm not sure. Isn't there anything else to scan around though? That is my question. Also, we're eight minutes so far. I honestly thought we were a lot more further into it. Still, because like sometimes I look at the timer, sometimes I don't. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Um, is there perhaps a secret or something in this area that I need to go to? Because maybe one of the things I need to scan is secretly hidden, even though this one I've already scanned, haven't I? But they're all red, really. So maybe, like, I need to have a closer look around and then see how do I solve this riddle. Wait a minute, th this is a skull, isn't it? Hold on, I can scan this. There appears to be a shell of ice encased in a water basin. The water originated from the statue's mouth. It did? Yeah, I can see that. Okay. So... Well, that didn't do anything. I don't even know why the hell I fought to do that. Of course that wouldn't work. Not everything you have to shoot with a missile and stuff, but still. Hey, let me have a look at this again. Bust of a Choman Shaman. Okay. To pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. Okay, so it's definitely in this room somewhere, isn't it? So I need to scan it and try to find it, but isn't this the, the twin and stuff? This is quite a cool puzzle, I'm really really into this, even though this looks like a bunch of skulls, it's kind of weird actually. Um, okay, scan this. What else could there be? I've scanned you, I've scanned you, I've scanned you as well, and I've scanned you. Um, hmm, where exactly would the twin be? Maybe not. No, no, I can't really see this really getting me anywhere. So, what else could I do in this area? I am finding this one very suspicious, though. This bit, bit and bust of a shadow salmon. Several stress fractures can be seen running along the surface of this brainstone object. Several structures. Let me actually have a closer look. Mind you, I can't actually see this very well because of, like, the... Wait a minute. Do I, like... Hold on. What if I don't do that with this one? Wait, hold on. Oh, I see. Okay, nice. Yeah, I thought that one looked a bit suspicious right there, actually. Come to think of it. So what does this do? It unlocks it! I, f I solved the riddle! Yay! I'm so freaking clever. Even though I spent a while trying to do that and things. But I don't know, I just like had a look at them and they say like, you know, oh, this one is not of interest or anything. But this particular one doesn't say that. And I thought, well, you know what, I'm just going to shoot it with a missile. See, that's the, that's the solution to everything. Shoot everything with a missile, then you shall make it. Also, I figured out that I could bomb these like earlier and stuff when I found the energy tank by complete freaking accident <laughs> through the tactics of bomb jumping. Ah, there we go. This is cool, man. I really like the layout of this area and stuff. Plus, the music adds to the mysteriousness of it. Even though mysteriousness, I don't think is even a word, but it is in my book, so whatever. So, you know, I might as well lay two just to make it a little bit easier next time. So if there's no one that I perhaps have to bomb through, yeah, there we go. That like, makes it a little bit easier, doesn't it? Let's just lay two. So then I just get rid of it. And it seems to like come back anyway. As long as the jumping works for me. Oh, man. Right. Okay, so with all that done, now I can go into this room and see what there is. Hmm, I wonder. Is that an energy tank over there? It's an energy tank, isn't it? It's out of range. Look at the room. Look at the way it's laid out. Is it perhaps going to be a boss? Because, I mean, look. There's like a wall here. And there's a wall here. And there's just this one energy tank sitting here with all these pillars and stuff. Let's go see. It's rumbling. It's a thing that I can touch. 
And look, it goes away. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna have to fight a boss, aren't I? And look, there's a purple door as well. Oh, this isn't a boss. This is just these guys. Well, I know how to defeat them anyway and stuff. Because I just shoot you guys in the back, don't I? As long as, like, come on, charge forward. There we go, right. And then just shoot a missile. There we go. So I kind of want to do this. There we go. One more. And maybe not. <laughs> I thought then I'd have them down really quick, but it doesn't seem to be that way. I was going to say, like, is that literally it? But th you know what? They seem to be coming and coming, so... Um, I need to be a little bit wary of this one, don't I? But mind you, I have so many missiles that will make this so easy for me. So hopefully these guys will be down and out, considering the fact that I can just replenish them <laughs> by killing them anyway. Oh man, this is really cool, this game. I'm glad I chose to do this blind, even if, like in places, I'm not doing that great. But oh well, it doesn't matter, surely. I mean, that damn day, all that matters really is I'm having fun. Um, oh! Oh my! There's the proper boss, I was going to say. I was thinking like this area would have an actual legitimate boss to it. And right I was. So this thing... How do I do it exactly? That's my fury. Jesus Christ, that's a scary face. <laughs> okay, she got supreme predator of Fenjana Drifts. She goes they're invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on their back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. Right, I don't want to shoot the crystals then. She goes have poor stamina. They hype. Hyperventilate, bloody hell, after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly of Shigoth is susceptible to concussive blasts. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their targets. They are also fond of ramming and tramping their hapless prey. Right, okay, cool, so I need to probably shoot this guy in the mouth. Don't shoot the crystals, though, because otherwise it gives it energy. Which is not going that well at all, is it? <laughs> oh, man. I was expecting me to have a lot of trouble, though, on the bosses and stuff. But then again, it says it's underbelly, doesn't it? Maybe I need to get it to jump? I don't know, man. Um, hmm. Let's see, it's gonna do that, but I can dodge it anyway, can't I? Because when it's, when it's all charged up, it'll release its thing like this. But then I can just dodge it, right? I see, understandable. Yeah, because like, thanks to the sidestep and that makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? So then. It, it gave me a hint as what I'm supposed to do, but I need to probably do it when I'm in the mouth, that's the thing. Okay, um, so are you gonna come over here? I can go behind you and... Wait, you were like the same as the other thing though, aren't you? At least that's my theory, anyway. Let me just go behind you and shoot this. Would this work? No, it doesn't actually, that's a real shame. Can this thing charge? Like, at all? Because there are walls over here. Maybe I need to do it. Also, my sensitivity just ran out. Freaking hell, that actually nearly caused me to take a damage then. So I would like you to shoot your things like this. There we go. Am I supposed to shoot it in the back? I mean, I scanned it now, but I haven't really learned a lot from this. Guess maybe um, I need to do a morphle underneath it? Is that right? Because it said underbelly, didn't it? Hold on, let me just try this out for a second. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so I need to go underneath it in order to damage it. So I need to go right behind it and then lay bombs to actually damage the thing in the first place. Because it was underbelly. That, that was the keyword that I was trying to find. If this thing would kindly stay where it is, please. So then I can just go underneath you and then blow you up like this. Right. Um, I said I kind of want to move out of the way. Thank the lord, though, that I have, like, four energy tanks. Because if I was just doing, like, a run where I had one of them right about now, I would be dead. Like, properly dead right about now, and that'd be a real shame. Also, you were doing this thing again, are you? Well, fine. But I can dodge them anyway, so that's fine by me. Right. So then, um, I probably actually want to shoot this over here. No, not that. The blimmin' thing, because then I can reload, like, my energy and things. Even though he's froze me! Well, that didn't really work at all then, did it? Oh, man, I'm really not that tactical with bosses at all, am I? I, I we will get there, though, don't worry. Right after I blow this guy up. So do I just need to like just keep hitting him with bombs? I mean, I literally just said I'm underbelly, and I get the feeling that that's literally the only way to take this guy down. Except, wow, I could see through his body then. Your 3D model, I could actually see through, and that's kind of disturbing, actually. There we go. That was kindly done, wasn't it? And now I get this. Isn't that the um screw attack? Really? Shigoth defeated! Right, okay, that actually wasn't too hard to find out, even though I could have done a lot better, but never mind. No, it's a plasma beam, I think. 
isn't it? It's a, it's a more powerful beam. Wave beam, actually. I was close. Plasma, eh, kind of. Wave beam, it penetrates stuff, doesn't it? I think. Uh, hold plus to then point up and release plus to switch to the wave beam. Ah, okay. Cool. Let me try that out then. But first off, I would like to grab that missile. Even though it's really not worth it at all, but it's worth the energy, so that's mine and me. Ah, so this is how I do it. So minus is to scan. What else are these things for then? They must be for things later in the game. Now I can switch to this thing. The wave beam. Oh my god, look at this. This looks so freaking cool. And I can charge the wave beam, but how does it look? It looks just like the same thing as before, really. The only difference is like this kind of thing, so that's fine by me. So, let me just see for a second. If I go to number two, and then go to, was it, my arm cannon, I can perhaps have a look, can't I? Let's see, okay. So the power beam is different than arm cannon, yes, I know that. The wave beam fires powerful electric bolts. This weapon has a limited homing capability as well. Uh, Samus's notes. Fire the wave beam to open purple doors. I see, because I saw a purple one earlier, didn't I? Which I very nearly got to by sequence breaking. The wave beam won't home in on targets without a lock on. Right, charge the wave beam to fire a fierce electric blast. Enemies struck by this will blast, uh, bl blast, sorry, will be enveloped in electrical energy for a few moments. Electrical energy! And I remember those things saying that they were, like, you know, vulnerable to electrical energy. So this might be the case where I can actually uh, kill the electric people for a change. <laughs> the electric people, great, great name there. Wow. But hold the phone. Is that everything? I think so, yeah, given the fact that there's, like, no extra doors I have to go for or anything. But still. And on that interruption, I reckon, honestly, we might as well quite possibly end this episode off here on a note like this. So, in the next- oh, look at these. Can I actually test out on these guys? Oh, no, wait, I can destroy them now, right? Yeah, I thought so. Great, that's so cool. Yeah, in the next episode of Metro Prime Blind, We'll be going through that purple door that I saw in, like, in Fanjana Drifts. So, yeah, we'll be doing that. Now I got, like, the wave beam. Well, look at that. Look at all the, like, purple things on my gun as well. This is really cool. Or arm cannon, sorry. So, take care, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And, as per usual, I'll see you, well, like, deflected, in more of them. <laughs>